Hey guys, as promised, I was going to do a uh, mic setup and uh, helmet tutorial as to exactly how I got everything set up. i uh, got my buddy here with me, my sidekick, so uh, let's get to it. Right off the bat, you're going to need to take out all the padding. So excuse me one second. Now that you have that done, uh, you should basically have your helmet just a shell. <clears throat> no padding whatsoever. Have it completely hollowed out. The next step is going to be that you want to have uh, the cheek pads put in place with just the first grommet clipped in. And the reason that you want to do that on either side is to give something for the wiring to grab onto without having it... Um, without having it slip out and uh, give you something to kind of base on. So I'm going to go ahead and clip those two in now. Okay, so now that you've got the cheek pads clicked in place, they should be free flowing uh, aside of just the one grommet locked in. And then you're going to start feeding in the wiring. So guys, the next step now that you've got the cheek pads in place are going to be um, putting in the wiring. Okay, so this is my wiring setup. So right now I have this um, three and a half millimeter input output. You can see here on both ends, and then I have the GoPro accessory, which is essentially just uh, an input going to an output uh, for the GoPro. Since I have my GoPro mounted on the left side of my helmet, I'm going to start the wiring on the right side of my helmet. And the reason I do that is because I want the exiting wire to come close enough to be right where the GoPro is attached. So that way when it does come out, it plugs right into the head, into the GoPro. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that now and I'll show you each step of the way. So you're gonna to wanna to take this piece here and you're gonna to wanna to feed it so that it comes outside of the cheek pad. So you see how I have it currently hanging out just outside of the cheek pad. So you can see it right here. It's just hanging right outside of the cheek pad. And then what you're going to want to do is you're then going to want to click this cheek pad down and lock the grommets in place. So that's what I'm doing now. So now that I have the cheek pad in place and locked in, which is by far the hardest step of the entire thing, you can see I have a little bit of this excess 3.5 millimeter jack exposed. Okay. Now I've got it in between the grommet that locks in here and the grommet that locks in here. So that, that way it's got something holding it in on either side because if you don't, <laughs> excuse me, because if you don't, it's going to slide one way or the other and it could potentially come out. So now that you've got that in there, you can pull this, um, push it down a little bit so that just a little bit's exposed because you've got to figure you're going to have the microphone there. So now you're going to want to go ahead and take all of the wiring and just drop it down into the bottom, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to leave just a little bit left over and just make sure that it stays seated down flat in the bottom. And there's a reason for that and I'll explain that in a minute. So let's go ahead and now lock it in the exact same way except we're gonna have this wire here exit this cheek pad, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So now that I have the second cheek pad installed here, again, placing this wire in between uh, two different grommets so that it's locked in place. As you can see, I've got a lot left over. Unnecessary to have this much. I'm gonna pull some of this through. Okay, so now that I have the second cheek pad put in place, you can see I have this little piece hanging out here and it is in between two of the grommets so that again, it will not slide uh, and potentially come out of the cheek pad okay so now this is the um, final step to the whole procedure here uh, and it is arguably the most important only because it's going to keep all of the excess wiring in place now let's go ahead and put the uh, the padding in so now that you have everything installed this is what should we should be left with we should be left with a little bit of this exposed here and then we should be left with a little bit of this exposed here, okay? Every grommet should be clicked in place, and believe me, there are a few that are difficult to get seated. Um, you just gotta put a lot of brute force into it. But you can see in the light here that I have the entire wiring completely covered, and you can't see a drop of it. You can only see a little bit here, and 
a little bit there. That should be all you see. Okay, so then to finish everything off, I've got two pieces. I've got this here, and then I've got the GoPro piece, okay? So this is very simple for the, the GoPro input microphone clicks right in place and I've got one here that I will unfortunately be retiring soon but it's very easy to bend back and forth I find that having it here gives the best audio and I have two of these uh, noise canceling windscreen type pieces here and then you're gonna wanna take this extension piece And you're going to want to plug that in. And then that'll give just enough so that you can plug it right into the back of your, of your GoPro. And if need be, I have found that sometimes I leave a little bit too much slack here. So at that point, I will then tuck more underneath the padding. But uh, that's usually just about enough. I'd say it's right about six inches of total wire exposed. Again, so that you don't have um, a shortage when you go to plug it right into the GoPro. So that's it, guys. Very easy. And uh, the nice thing is everything's nice and clean and neat. And uh, look at that. You can't tell that I am uh, have any audio in there whatsoever. And even when you lift up the visor, you've got just that little bit of microphone sitting there. But from a distance, it blends right in with the padding enough where it uh, doesn't show too much. So... I've been very happy with this setup aside from the fact that I've recently found out that uh, I do have mono and not stereo, so that's something that I'm going to have to correct. But uh, all in all, guys, uh, great setup. If you have any questions, you know that I'm responding very well to these comments that everyone's putting in my channel, so by all means, uh, please ask. This is something that I've, I've gotten a few questions on in my short time on YouTube, and uh, hopefully this clears up a lot of confusion. And hopefully this gives a lot of the new moto vloggers uh, something to go off of when they when they start setting up their own mic setup in their helmet. So, uh, as always, guys, I appreciate it very much, and uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, I'm going to constantly be putting out new tutorials, reviews, and of course the weekly moto vlog. So, thank you very much, and I will see you next time.